Okay, so let us learn certain things about Vedic mathematics. Now, Vedic mathematics is basically a very traditional method of doing multiplication and certain operations which can be done very easily if you apply the right technique. So now basically we will be doing about Vedic mathematics. And the first thing we do about is multiplication. Now let us say, for example, you were told to multiply certain numbers. Let's say 103 into 109. Now there are two ways in which you can do it. One is the traditional way which you are used to doing it. You start multiplying it like this. 103 into 109. First you do it from 3, then 0, then 1 and finally you arrive at a solution. So let's do it the traditional way also. 9 goes into 3 27 times. 7, 2, 2, 9 ones are 9. Then 0, 1, 2, 3. Then 1 will go into 1, 0, 3. 1, 0, 3 times. 7, 2, 9 into 3, 12, 2, 1 carry. 1, 1. So that's the traditional way where you try and do this for as many numbers as possible. The other way in which you can do is is through Vedic mathematics. Okay? So what you do in this case is first you observe these two numbers and find a number which is close to both of them and at the same time is such that you know the multiplication is easier. Normally the multiplications are easier for numbers like 10, 100, 1000, 50, 500. Why? Because the more the number of zeros that you have, the easier it is to multiply them amongst themselves. So now if you see these two, and this number is called a base. So when you see 103 and 109, what you find out is that they both seem to be closer to 100. So you select the base as 100. Okay. Now once you've selected the base, let me just remove this. Then you subtract this base from both these numbers. So 103 minus 100 will give you 3. 109 minus 100 will give you 9. And you call these numbers as surplus okay so basically you've got the base which is 100 and you've got the surplus which is 3 and 5 for these respective numbers now what you do is you put a straight line okay list down the two numbers that needs to be multiplied it's actually 9 okay so what you do is you list down the two numbers which have to be multiplied so you write 103 and 109 okay and you also put down the surplus so this is positive so you write the surplus of 103 against it and you write the surplus of 109 against it. Okay. So this is just the representation part. There is no rocket science in this. So you written this. So take this as step 1. Step 2 is you multiply the surplus 1 and so basically you will multiply plus 3 and plus 9. So 9 times 3 gives you 27 plus into plus gives you a plus sign. Okay. So this is basically your step 2. 
So we've done a multiplication of the surpluses. Then comes step 3. Now as step 3 basically what would you do? As step 3 you will take either of these numbers okay take either of number and let's say you take 109 and add the surplus of other number to it so let's say you take 109 so you will add 3 to this which will give you 1112 alternatively what you could have done is you could have taken 103 plus 9 again this will give you 1112 so these two numbers are most likely or rather in all possibilities the prod sum of these two will be the same right now once you've done this then you multiply this particular number that you get into base which is 100 so this will give you 112 into 100 or 11200 right so you write this 11200 here now add these two numbers and you will get 11227 which is the same number as you got by multiplication here in the first notch it might seem that this is a little bit difficult but as you try and solve more problems on this aspect it will become more and more easier